What's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Cold House TV. This is your boy, Jai, man, and we're about to get into this video reaction. Yes, I said it, video reaction. I know it's been a long time since your boy, Jai, has done a video reaction, but a few people has requested it, so I'm going to do it, all right? Um, the, the video I'm going to be reacting to is the Wu versus the Blickies, the story of T. Wu and Nas Blicky. Make sure y'all go over there to end of sentence. Definitely got some dope ass content over there. Make sure y'all go over there and hit the subscribe button, man. Now let's get into it. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on the current war going on in Brooklyn, the recent murder of T. Wu. And the alleged shooting of Nas Blicky. Justin, tonight police say a 22-year-old is dead after he was shot in the head and knee. The president is set to come here to New York City to speak with the mayor and Governor Hochul about their plan to combat all of this gun violence. February 1st, 2022, gunfire broke out in the Canasi neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. Officers arrived. He said Canasi. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, that shit funny, dude. Yo, shout out to End the Sentence, man. Shout out to 1090 Jake, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the Herc right there. Shout out to him. Drive to the corner of 98th Street and L Avenue, finding a man collapsed on a front porch. Immediately transported to Brookdale Hospital only nine minutes away, he was pronounced dead and identified as 22-year-old Tajay Dobson, who's more commonly known as T-Dar Wu, an associate of Pop Smoke, who went viral for his dance in Pop Smoke's video, Welcome to the Party. The dance would become known as the Wu Walk and set off a trend throughout the entire city of New York. But back in Brooklyn, the news of T-Dar's death sent shockwaves through the borough as it was learned he was shot in the head in front of his mother's house. Damn, he got shot in the head in front of his mother's house. That means somebody knew him. Somebody was close to T-Dot. And that's crazy because he just finished signing a deal. So it's a coincidence. Isn't it a coincidence how he just end up signing a deal and then he gets laid out like that, shot in his head, shot in his knees in front of his house like that? Somebody was in his circle the whole time. They was envying him. He was smoking blunts with him. They was woo walking with him. And all at the same time, they was plotting his demise. That's fucked up. That's why you little dudes out there, man, you gotta watch your circle. Even you OGs too, even including myself. I keep my circle very small. You don't invite people into your life like that. And be so kind and giving. Because people could take kindness for weakness. That's why I said when I made my when I first reported on 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 um, T Dot's murder, when I first reported on it, I was like, "Damn, who the fuck want to kill T Dot? Like T Dot Wu, he's a dancer, like." But then at the same time, I had to rethink. Like, damn, he was dissing a lot of oppositions, dropping the rakes, talking about GDK this, GDK that. Or was it his man's that backdoored him? I think it was his man's. It was a possibility that his man's backdoored him because, like they said, he got hit in his head in front of his house. So somebody had to call him. One of his mans had to hit him up on some funny, snaky, slimy shit. Like, yo, boy, come outside. I got something for you. Ah, 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 ah. Next thing you know, he hit in his head, hit in his knees. He bled right there, bled out to death. That's fucked up, man. Growing up in the crit dominated neighborhood of Kanasi, this was home to famous rappers like Pop Smoke, Bobby Schmurder, and Dusty Locaine, all three being affiliated with different crip sets. I just Bobby motherfucking Shmurda, shout out to product DVD, man. And if I catch a snoover like and send him to his grave, and for the cuz I'm pistol pack and fill me up with rage. T Dot specifically repped the Hunnets, and on top of being Crip, he was Woo, 
a gang made up of blood and crypt sets that formed an alliance against the Chos, which is made up of rival Bloods, Crips, and GDs, who have maintained a position in Brooklyn since the 90s. While T-Dot's death came as a surprise, it's rumored it was revenge for a shooting that took place only a day before. News broke through social media that 22-year-old Nazir Fisher, who's more commonly known as the Brooklyn rapper Nas Blicky, was shot in the head and left in critical condition. Nas is from the Crown Heights neighborhood of Brooklyn, and more specifically the Ebbets Field Apartments. And that's crazy because I just seen an interview that Nas Blick did like about two, three weeks ago. He did an interview, I think, with his podcast. Uh, I think the name is called Films or something like that. P H P H I L M S, something like that. He did a he just did an interview with dude. And shout out to him, shout out to Films too. He does make pretty dope content. Nas Blicky was was trying to school the youth on how y'all shouldn't be dissing people's dead man's this that and the third. Looked like he was trying to change his life around. Next thing you know, he getting into a situation with all these young Bronx drill rappers. Now, for those of you that have that don't know too much about Nas Blicky, Nas Blicky man, he been around on the scene for like a good five to six years. Um, rest in peace to Zach TV. Zach TV was a was a um, YouTube blogger that was from Chicago that also got shot in his head. He was the first one to give Nas Blicky, Envy Kane, and them some spotlight. So dudes from Chicago, like the GDs that live in Chicago, they started getting more familiar with Nas Blicky, Envy Kane, and, and the Chos, Coast to Coast, and etc. Because um, they had a relationship based off of Zach TV. Rest his soul. Ebbets Field was originally home to the Brooklyn Dodgers, the stadium being destroyed and replaced with an H-shaped housing complex that reached 25 stories high, had 1,300 units, and in the 1960s was the largest housing complex in all five boroughs. What was once home to the Brooklyn Dodgers became a home base for the GDs and the birth. Yeah, I know about I know about Ebbets Field. I know about the Crown Heights, like. For those of you that don't know, I've said it before, like my sister, she's from a dangerous block in Crown Heights. She's from Lincoln and Franklin. Lincoln Place and Franklin Avenue. Wild block. It's always shootings over there all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a wild, it's a wild, wild block. You know what I'm saying? Place of the Blickies, a gang primarily made up of Brooklyn rappers from Ebbets Field, but also different parts of Brooklyn. Zach TV, a YouTuber from Chicago, can be credited with documenting Chicago's drill scene and recording. I was just saying that, man. You know what I'm saying rest in peace, you know, to Zach TV. Zach TV is the GOAT. Like, he was like the first blogger to really go deep into these inner cities, into the gutters, man, and get exclusive interviews, man. He used to be rolling dolly by himself the majority of the time, just do to go anywhere. He wasn't just a YouTube blogger. That's what set him apart from a lot of these other bloggers, like Zach TV, he was international. He was going everywhere. Pardon if y'all hear my dog barking. Hold on one second. Storm, be quiet. 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 Yeah, my dog, she be getting a little crazy when she hears somebody at the door. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah, man. Putting legendary interviews before being fatally shot in the head in downtown Chicago back in 2018. One year... Yeah, man, Zach, Zach TV, man, he was another dude, man. He got killed because of jealousy. And a lot of people, they used to tell Zach TV, like, yo, you got to be careful, Zach. You know, when he used to go on Instagram and shit like that. People that didn't even know him, they used to give him advice, like, you know, you need to be careful, man, when you're going into these gang neighborhoods in Chicago or you 
go in certain places in New York, you got to be careful because you interviewing both sides, you know what I'm saying, opposition, and you know what I'm saying, that shit could always turn, end up deadly, you know what I'm saying, and unfortunately, you know, he felt it was coming, you know what I'm saying, like, for those of you that have been following Zach TV, y'all been, you know, when he used to go live on Instagram, like, he always used to be throwing signals out there, like, he felt his day was coming soon, he felt somebody wanted him dead. Because what he was doing, man, like I said, man, he was in the gutter. He was in the urban cities, the cities where a lot of you bloggers, you niggas are scared to go. He was there, man. He's dude is a legend. He put, like I said, man, he put Nas Blicky and MB Kane in the mall. And that's when a lot of niggas from Chicago, they was there. Yeah, they was jacking niggas. Like, yeah, these niggas is nice. You know what I mean? So definitely rest up to Zach TV, man and everyone else who lost their lives. Prior, Zach TV took a trip to Brooklyn, interviewing the then 17-year-old Nas Blicky in the Ebbetsfield Apartments. In that interview, Nas can be seen crediting Lou Blicky with being the founder of the Blickies, and they'd continue making noise in Brooklyn's drill scene. But Lou Blicky, another young boy, another young talented boy that lost his life. You know what I'm saying? Because it is this and just rap drill, this and shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of it because I like to see the little young niggas do their thing. You know what I'm saying? That's the new wave now for this generation. But when it starts to, when lives are starting to get taken and then mothers is crying over caskets and shit like that, man, that's when, you know what I'm saying? That shit is not cool no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you dudes is really, you young dudes is really out here trying to live out your lyrics, man. And you destroying families, man. Changing lives forever. As rising rapper 22 G's became the face of Brooklyn Drill, with songs going all the way back to his 2016 hit, Blicky. But violence was no stranger to Drill and no stranger in Brooklyn. In May of 2020, 21-year-old... Yo, check Tutu out, man. Check little Tutu out, man. Hold on, I gotta rewind this shit back. Hold on. Nicholas Thompson, a run. But violence was no stranger to drill and no strength. Yo, check Tutu out, man. Oh, man, I ain't gonna find. I gotta give Tutu his flowers, man. Tutu came a long fucking way, man. You know what I'm saying? Like... He was another one that I thought that was going to get sent up the river and, and destroy his career, man. But he came back and he, he worked hard and, you know, Kodak put him under the wing, man. Took him out the hood, man. And he still come back to the hood and put his niggas on when he's shooting his music videos, you know, his drill shit. Be having all the folks and you know what I'm saying niggas from Bear Sides and you know niggas from the Garvey, you know, even the Brookline, you know what I'm saying? Like it's cho it's it's a lot of folk and cho niggas out here too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get it fucked up like where I'm at in the peas in Brookline, the majority of niggas over here is cho. But then you got the niggas that live across the street. Those are the honey clocks, you know what I'm saying? Those are the creepy niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, it's been an ongoing war for, for, for years, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas from the peas and, and the private house niggas, the creepy niggas. Always had shootouts and, and beef and shit like that. But what's understood don't have to be explained. Stranger in Brooklyn. In May of 2020, 21-year-old Nicholas Thompson, a rapper who went by the name Nick Blicky, was shot multiple times in the chest and ass, dying in the hospital. His death came only three months after Pop Smoke was murdered. And free! And free! Man, man. Rest up to Nick Blicky, man. He was another young, talented dude that was about, like, I remember his whole come up and shit like that because I remember when Tutu got locked down in Miami and shit, you know what I'm saying, for that, for that PD and all that. 
Nick Blicky was like Nick Blicky and um and Skrell Paid was the only two niggas in MV King. And Nas Blicky, yeah. Nas Blicky, Skrell Paid, MV King. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was putting on when Tutu was, you know what I'm saying, locked up in, in Miami and shit. It's just sad, man. He's another one. Like, he got, Nick Blicky, they said he got killed by somebody that he knew. That just, just on some dapping him up, dapping him up shit. Like, yo, what up, what up, boy? Like, you know how niggas be on some regular shit in the hood? Like, yo, what up, boy? Like, you know what I'm saying? And boy just backed out and just started booming that side. Like, you know what I mean? But this shit is crazy, man. And free, and free, free, and free, and free, 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 and free, and free, and free. In a home invasion robbery in Los Angeles, and as members of the Woos began to troll Nick Blick home invasion hospital, Nicky was shot multiple times in the chest. Thompson, a rapper who went by the name Nick Blicky, was shot multiple times in the chest and ass, dying in the hospital. His death came only three months after Pop Smoke was murdered in a home invasion robbery in Los Angeles, and as members of the Woos began to troll Nick Blicky's death, NYPD began investigating a possible connection between the two deaths, as the Woos were known to be GDK, a gangster disciple killer. At the same time, the Blickies cross out the C's in their name, replacing it with an X over the conflict between the GDs and Crips. Four months after Nick Blicky was killed, 22-year-old Louis Caballero, also known as Lou Blicky, was shot in his arm, chest, and leg, dying. And I'm saying, let me let me tell y'all something. Like I come from the five, like I'm 35 years of age. I've been through it all and I've seen it all. I remember coming up, you know what I'm saying, going to school. I remember when the GDs and the Crips, they was cool. You know what I'm saying? There was never no beef and like that. I mean, niggas would have their little one twos here and there, but it was nothing to be major where, nigga, I see you, I'm a I'm pop your head off type shit. You know what I'm saying? It was none of that. Now with the, you know what I'm saying, the feds and came into the neighborhood and swap up all the OG gangster niggas is, is no direction in the hood so these little niggas is just doing whatever the fuck they want to do you know what I'm saying so you know but yeah it was it was a point in time where in my era it wasn't no GDs and and no creepy niggas beefing like that you know what I'm saying it's shit different now after a confrontation at a party in Brownsville. Police arrested Lewis and Cribs. Four months after Nick Blicky was killed, 22-year-old Lewis Caballero. See that school right here, the Ala school in Medina right here. This used to be a, a club back in the days, back in the um back in the 90s and shit like that. In the eight in, in the eighties and the nineties, man. A lot of people done lost their lives over here. Because niggas from River, this is on the same side as Riverdale Projects. Y'all always hear MB Kane in his videos. He be screaming out Riverdale and shit. That's home to folks too, and some show members, you know what I'm saying? As well as Marcus Garvey. Like, I'm from Brownsville, born and raised, so I know my family's from Van Dyke Projects, the Five Block. From five, I got family from Five Block to South Side. South Side is near Junior Street, the train station on them sides. But um, yeah, man, there used to be a lot of bangouts before this shit became a Allah school. It was it used to be a nightclub, man, back in the days, man. It used to be a lot of people used to lose their lives in here. Niggas used to come up in here with their grips on them. My uncles and shit like that used to tell me, you know what I mean? Niggas used to come up in here with their slammies and niggas ain't had no metal detectors or nothing like that back then. You know what I'm saying? So you could get in with your gun, your knife, whatever. A lot of people lost their lives, but they turned this into a school now and shit, you know, Muslim school. Bro, also known as Lou Blicky was sh They used to have, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me just say this one thing. Niggas from Riverdale used to have bang outs with niggas from Tilden. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days. Used to be crazy, early 90s and shit like that. 
Riverdale and 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 and, and motherfucking um, Tilden Peas always used to have bang outs. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas from Riverdale is linked up with niggas from Marcus Garvey. Like they they both come back and forth and chill in each other's projects. You know what I'm saying? They affiliated. Shot in his arm, chest, and leg, dying after a confrontation at a party in Brownsville. Police arrested the 20-year-old alleged shooter only a block away, who was a documented Crip gang member from the 90s in Kanasi, Pop Smoke's hood. Lou Blicky's casket would be carried through the Ebbets Field apartments as multiple retaliation shootings would follow in the weeks after his death. January 30th, 2022, Nas Blicky would repost to his Instagram story a clip of an unreleased song in which he's dissing his ops. Like I was just saying, I'm surprised he went out like Nas Blicky went out like that because he just did an interview about, I think it was two to three weeks ago, three to four weeks ago, some shit like that. Did an interview with Films, man. And, um, or Films, whatever his name is. But he be having some dope content. Shout out to him. I'm going to say it again. And Nas Blicky was just talking like trying to, you know what I mean? He was talking like he was trying to school the youth. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand. When y'all dissing ops, you dissing other people's, you dissing ops, um, loved ones that passed away. You got to understand. There's people that's going to feel some type of way about it and they're going to come back looking for you. They're going to come back to kill you or do something to you. You gotta be mindful of these things. So it sounded like he was trying to wise up. Then the next thing you know, he's making a diss track about some some PG-16 nigga or some shit like that. And then he ended up getting shot in his fucking head. Next thing you know, then a lot of people, it's speculations, man. Everybody's been talking about it all over social media. Some people saying that he's dead. You know, his gang is covering up for him. His baby moms is covering up for him, but he's, He's definitely a vegetable type shit. Like, yeah, man. You even had niggas from um, um, what's this nigga name, man? He's an affiliate of 1090. Um, what's this nigga name, bro? Just O B. You know the little Spanish looking kid, man. That 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 was um that caught backlash for for supposedly stepping on um Nick Blicky's grave and shit like that. And um. He caught a lot of backlash from that and shit. A lot of people were saying, like, yo, he going to end up dead soon. But, yeah, man, a lot of people has been speculating about the non picky situation. But, like I said, I didn't report and say that he was dead. I'm just sad that he's in critical condition. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely going to give y'all the update as well because his stepdad, his um, Nas Blicky stepdad, he had recently gave an update on 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 his on on Nas Blicky status. I'm gonna let y'all know what he said. He said, um, Nas Blicky had a um an argument on Facebook, and um, he didn't want to give his name, but he said when he Nas Blicky stepdad didn't want to give his name, but he he said when he came out of the store. Some dudes was waiting for Nas Blicky. Like, he went to the store. Some dudes was waiting on him. And um, it was like two or three of them surrounding Nas Blicky. It was an ambush. Um, he was shot multiple times. Fisher's mother, Dana um, Monde, 54, a home health aide, said Fisher managed to escape with his life. He was at his son's mother's house the night before, Nas Blicky mother said. He dropped his three-year-old son off at school and he went to buy a sandwich. He saw the gunman on the other side of the street pointing a gun right at him. He ran for his life. There were two or three of them. They ambushed him. This is what um, Nas Blicky mother and stepfather is saying. Hold on, we got more. She said, many people want him dead, the stepfather said. I told him he's better than that. You want him dead, he's dead. He'll be back with better music and better lyrics. In the meantime, Fisher has a long road to recovery. 
He's going to make it, his mother said. He's out of the ICU. He's already had two surgeries, one in his colon, damn, one in his lungs. He said he saw death. He asked, mommy, am I going to live? So Nas Blicky told his mother that he saw death and he was asking her, is he going to live? Yeah, so that's it for his update. But let's continue on, man, with this video reaction, y'all. Before 24 hours passed and the story was taken down, he'd allegedly be shot in his head, and his ops immediately went to dissing. His ops to his apartments as multiple retaliation shootings would follow in the weeks after his death. January 30th, 2022, Nas Blicker would repost to his Instagram story a clip of an unreleased song in which he's dissing his ops. Before 24 hours passed and the story was taken down, he'd allegedly be shot in his head and his ops immediately went to dissing. Nas the official, can you fucking die already? I'm trying to fucking roll up, nigga. That's the nigga I was just telling y'all about. Um, this Just OB dude, he's an affiliate with OP and, 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 um, and Scrap. He's part of 1090, man. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is, but, um... Nick Blicky mother had confirmed with BMG upper class like two years ago. I think it was one, two years ago. Yeah, that that was cat. That wasn't Nick Blicky's grade. You know what I'm saying? That this was a publicity stunt. You know what I mean? But still, like son, he got a target on his head, like, you know what I'm saying? There's a few dudes that want this nigga out of here. Don't see this is fucking guys. Die, nigga. This little nigga just OB, man, he's very disrespectful. Like if y'all heard, if y'all in tune with his music, y'all know, you know what I'm saying? He's very disrespectful when it comes to dissing the folks, man. And he's I wouldn't be surprised if he's next up. No cap. E I E die already, my nigga. Fuck. Like, I mean, when I say this nigga just OB, he got a potty mouth. You hear me? Like, I thought I had a potty mouth. Like, this little nigga, man, like, he gives no fucks. Like, the fucking Ricky. Listen, Nas the official. Can you fucking die already? I'm trying to fucking roll up, nigga. Don't see this is fucking gas. Die, nigga. D I E. Die. Wow. He wishing that Nas Blicky, hurry up. Pass away so he could he could put him in a farm so disrespectful boy. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised, man, if something happened to this dude right here, man, cause he I don't know, man. A lot of people just say, yo, just will be he be cloud chasing and shit like that. But y'all get in the comment section, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I already, my nigga. Fuck. It's a fucking rake in the grave. Huh? So I can't be smoking your pops. Uh, hey. You know the fucking vibe. Hello. Niggas run up, they get dusty right now. Huh? Fuck now, it's Blicky. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Did he fucking K? Y'all see what the fuck going off. Nick Blicky. Now it's Blicky. Hey, yo. Isn't this this kid right here? Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um... This Nas EBK nigga, wasn't he down with um Shy Kane on the niggas? Wasn't he repping, calling, and all that? And then niggas end up beating him up, pistol whipping him, robbing him, and some shit. Then he went to go jump on um, K Flock and, 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 and be loving him dick. Y'all and, and let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I think this is the kid, man, that has switched sides, man, on this, on this game. Great structure, Dubsky, Rara, all the niggas in a fucking pack. And I'm outside, Caddy. I know what the fuck going on. Now, Nas Blicky's ops had a full day to diss before T. Wu was killed, and the dissing was immediately reciprocated as the GDs responded with comments about how Nas Blicky was alive and well while T. was dancing with the stars. But I'm gonna be keeping it 100 with y'all. If Nas Blicky is alive and well, then y'all need to take a picture. Y'all need to. You need. I don't know, man. I know he's going through a tough situation right now. Maybe you don't want to show it. 
you know, his face or whatever on social media, but he needs to put an end to them rumors, man, because a lot of people are saying, like, yo, man, he turned into a vegetable or he done passed away, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how a lot of these young niggas do, man, when they get shot. They act like it's a trophy, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got shot, ah, 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 woo, woo. But I never respect a nigga that got shot, you know what I'm saying? Like Jay-Z said, I respect the shooter. G shit, but I, I guess some niggas, they, they satisfied with having that title, that trophy of them getting shot and surviving. I guess it does something for their ego, but I don't, I don't respect that. I respect the shooter. As at the same time, it seems more were left mourning the loss of T-Dar Wu, while Nas Blicky shooting was more so celebrated. Going along with the narrative that the GDs in New York are the most hated gang in the city and blackballed in the industry. Nas Blicky's condition is unknown, as close associates have said he's- Nah, you can't say the GDs is blackballed, because they got a few niggas that you got two, 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 two is holding it down right now. I'm saying then you got the other um what's the niggas from the Kirk side, man? Um the niggas from the VA and all that was was um S P M B uh, S P M B Bills. He just came home about a year or two ago from doing a six year bid. You know what I mean? S P M B Bills, he was caught up in that um that indictment and shit like that, man. When a lot of his members got taken down. That was um, from Vanderveer and all that. He's good, but Nas himself hasn't been active on social media. Rumors are speculating he may be alive, but may also be forever changed. Similar to Chicago rapper Wooski, who was shot in the head at a funeral in Chicago, survived, but isn't the same. Only time will tell. Man, that was crazy. Boy, he got shot in the head while people was in the funeral, in the funeral morning. That shit crazy. And with both shootings being so recent, there's, there's no, no doubt, doubt members, members on both sides are outside looking for blood. Word. Now these back-to-back -back shootings are wild and it seems like T.Wu is getting more love from the situation while everyone else is really just hoping Nas Blicky dies or just sweeping it under the rug. Yeah, man, because T.Wu was... He was the life of the party, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that Pop Smoke wouldn't have blew if he didn't have T Dot in his videos, but of course he would have. Because talent is always gonna override the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Once you got talent and you consistent, Pop Smoke was consistent and he wanted it back. So he would have been a superstar regardless, but I'm just saying. T Dot Wu just made his videos a little bit more lit up. Lydia, you know what I'm saying? She was Liddy, boy. Like, he was the life of the party. And people want to tune in for the visuals now. You know what I'm saying? Whether they tuning in for the for the females or or, 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 or you got to have some dance moves. You got to have the latest dance moves. In. He brought that woo shit to life, man. That woo walking shit. He brought that shit to life. He was the life of the party, man. So... It's like, you know how that shit go hard me, y'all. That's wifey and shit calling me. But, um, yeah, man, he was the life of the party. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why somebody would want to harm him other than somebody back doing him. Somebody had to know him. You know? But then again, I may be wrong. Who knows? Only t Dot, you know, rest in peace, and the killers know what happened. And God, that's all I know. But um, yeah, this is just sad, you know. New us in Brooklyn, we losing a lot of talent to gun violence, man. This shit needs to stop, man. Because you gotta understand, it's gonna be a lot of shootings going on. I don't know. I don't, you know. Y'all saying that Adams is gonna come and shut down the city and do this and do that and. Eric Adams this, Eric Adams that. Listen, man. Niggas are still gonna get them them fucking hammers across state lines. You see what I'm saying? When you got connections, you're gonna be able to move how you wanna move, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're strategic with it, you don't make yourself hot, 
the guns is all the hammers is always going to travel across state lines. There's nothing they're going to be able to do. But until next time, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. This is your boy, Call Outs TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're definitely going to have more content on the way.